Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's History and War Game World, and uh, got sort of some free time here on uh, Thursday, the uh, few days before Christmas. So, anyhow, I have so many requests about more Star Trek videos. We are going to have the Enterprise uh, Constitution class heavy cruiser, and with our stat sheet, it has. Uh, Strength level 2, phasers, 2 torpedoes, um, speed of 6 dice, uh, warp drive, shield level 1. And it can fire on 2 targets a turn. And then, the Pa and the Vorn. Klingon F5 class frigates. Now, I've never used these. These are new ships. And one of my rules in my war game world is I don't let anything sit around for 90 days or more. When I purchase something, I use it within 90 days. Both of these frigates were purchased, actually were produced by Josh, my good friend and uh, traveling companion and war gamer. So we're going to do a quick video of the Constitution class heavy cruiser engaging two F5 class frigates. Um, I got to buy a couple styrofoam balls at uh, and uh, so I'll have some planets to fight around at some point, some obstacles. And thank you for the input, a few of you out there in the last video. So right now, um, combat value of the Constitution class is 197 points. The F5 frigates are basically 60. So they're really outclassed even for two of these. But we are Klingons, as they would say. Kapla, kapla, kapla. Hey, laugh a little bit. Life is short. Let's start this game. All right. Well, in Bill's um, Star Trek world, we don't plot our movement. And our turns are done by losing dice. So, really quick again, you can watch my other videos and how I do this. But um, the Enterprise here has a value of a 6 for movement. Right there. That is... In Bill's world, that is 66 as the maximum speed. But if you want to pivot before you move, you lose a D6. And if you want to pivot when you're done moving, you lose a D6. Now, right now, I've rolled the die for which ship moves first. And right now, the Klingon F5 Vorn has rolled a six, it will go first, followed by the Enterprise, it rolled a, one, a two, and then the other Klingon F5, the paw will uh, move last. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this uh, and move our ships a bit. All right, our Klingon F5 uh, frigate, the Vaughn, has advanced 21 inches it rolled. So we're gonna uh, fire weapons. They were at 18 inches, measuring from the stand post to the stand post at 18 inches. The uh, weapon system on the, on the frigate, for those of you who are interested, it has a class 2 phaser bank and a disruptor. And that's it. So we're going to fire our class 2 phaser bank which is here, it, it rolls two dice, so there we go, uh, three through six to hit, and let's roll, oh we rolled a one, so it's phaser bank missed, it has a disruptor bank, and it's at long range, four, five, or six, and we rolled a one. Oh my god, the weapons officer there should be shot. Uh, so, that ship has done nothing. Alright, and it cl closed in the uh, Enterprise. We use a die to pivot. And then it's going to move forward. Well, it can move right up to there. And, wow, we will uh, adjust our camera angle. All right, so the Enterprise cruised right up to the Vaughn, and it's going to unload three Class II um, phaser banks right off the bat. So 
Class 2 phaser banks under 24 inches, 3 through 6 to hit. Uh, one hit, one miss, and one miss. While the weapons officer on the Enterprise, I guess it would be Sulu or Chekhov, didn't do so well either. But it did cause two points to the frigate. And as I've shown before, we just mark off one, two, and we haven't sustained um, a weapons a casualty to see if the uh, special systems have been hit. When you hit an asterisk, that's when that happens. So, uh, photon torpedoes are next. They're at close range. Three through six to hit. Roll the five and a six. So, we'll see what happens next. Uh, photon torpedoes do 1d6 each for three points, which was really poor. However, one, two, three, and it causes weapon system checks, such as sensors are good, phaser's good, disruptor is good, warp drive is out, it cannot warp out, and speed is fine. So it has one hit point and is still functional. Um, for every time you hit an asterisk, you uh, roll for all the damage, but... Uh, Right now, it's uh, really uh, just one hit point away from um, exploding. So let's see what happens with our uh, our other Klingon vessel. It's going to zip in at five uh, five d six worth, and it rolled horrible. These Klingons aren't doing very well. Six and three nine. A measly uh, 10 inches, stand to stand, 17 inches out. All right, well, let's go ahead and fire our 17 inches. Type 2 phaser is a hit, does two points to the Enterprise. Ow. Oh. And it does have shields, so. Threes and fours would not normally penetrate, but we roll the six. And then our disruptor bank. And that is a hit. And that's two points. So the Enterprise just did sustain some damage. Not enough to cause a, a, a damage critical check. All right, let's pause the camera and continue to turn two. All right, well, we're back at turn two. I'm using my Peter dice. So I rolled those, and you can see them really well on the screen. Uh, shout out to everyone that's watching this. You know, we're at eight minutes. If you're finding these videos boring for these Star Trek videos, tell me, and I'll, I won't keep making them. Uh, I had a couple people that thought the last one was pretty cool. So right now, the Enterprise is a one. It's the last ship to activate. So... The very heavily damaged F-5 frigate, um, which is the Vorn, which really only has one hit point left, um, but all the systems checks passed, it's going to fire its Type 2 phaser, needs a 3 through 6 to hit, rolled a 3, um, but because the Enterprise actually has a shield, the 3 doesn't penetrate, so darn those shields, huh? All right, it has a disruptor bank, and it has um, and the disruptor bank fails to hit. Now, how in the world does that weapons officer miss at three inches away or less? All right, um, so the shields held on the Enterprise. The um, the paw is going to move forward, and it cruises right up to the Enterprise. Using one die for pivot. So the paw is there. And we're going to fire its class 2 phaser, which is a hit, and it's a roll of a 6, so it penetrates. Let's see what we can uh, see here on our sheet now. 
So we're going to penetrate with two points of damage, which causes a systems check. So the Enterprise is down a little bit, but it's still fine. But we check the forward phaser bank is fine, port is fine, starboard is fine. Oh, we lost a sensor. And so we only can fire on one ship. Um, now the shield's held. Warp drive is good. Uh, lost a point of speed, so we're from a 6 to a 5. All right, so the Enterprise took some damage from... Uh, but that's, uh, that's about it for... Uh, now, one of the lucky things is the Enterprise uh, can sit there and fire, but only can fire at one target now. Because one of the sensors been hit. Uh, did have the ability to fire at two. So let's get back to our game. Should the Enterprise um, increase speed and get out of there? Or should it try to uh, take out the one heavily damaged ship? Um, I think what we'll do is... Because I lost its sensor, I can't fire at two targets, which is sort of a pain. But we're going to go ahead and fire photon torpedoes straight ahead. And uh, unfortunately, I rolled a one and a two, which is really frustrating. I have three phaser banks, uh, three through sixes to hit. And two of the three hit. So that's four points of damage into... The F-5 frigate number two, the Vorn. And of course, if you remember, we're down to one. It's gone. So it explodes. Now, for my video right now, we're not doing uh, the damage happen to the Enterprise because that ship blew up so close. We'll worry about that in another game. So the Enterprise is done. It blew up. One uh, F5 frigate, and it's time to roll dice to see who goes first. Well, I rolled six and a six. So, the Enterprise has a five this time. Klingon F5 is a three. Um, for those of you that are purists on the explosion of the uh, opposing ships, um, right now... We will uh, move the Enterprise away. So pause the camera and get that done. All right, the Enterprise had initiative this turn. It moved away. So we basically are saying that the, the exploding ship has um, an explosion radius in the world of Bill. We'll use one of these blast circles. So anything there will take a, a d6 of damage so right now the enterprise has moved further further out um it's going to fire its two torpedoes and one hit and that does one d6 worth of damage so a photon torpedo launched and the f5 frigate for those of you who like to see how that works we're going to mark off one two three four five so it's pretty much shot up i uh, has one hit point and sensors are good warp drive is good phaser disruptor they're both fine and movement so the f5 frigate took a uh, photon torpedo hits like mad and hailed out however the enterprise has phaser banks still and it will fire needing uh, three through sixes, which are all hits. And that's six points of damage. So the F5 frigate is gone. So it, uh, it would explode and nothing in the way. So once again, another build quick video. Um, down here in the Wargaming basement. Uh, my son and I, we playing some Star Trek this weekend. Uh, Friday the 23rd, we're heading out to Fredericksburg, Virginia. And uh, 
think Goober the Traveling Bear will be with me. Well, that's about it. For the rules, I've adjusted my combat charts a bit more. I really streamlined these. I'm quite happy with these. And um, they're really pretty much based on uh, Full Thrust Wargaming site. But uh, one page, super fast, have a huge fleet action, be done in an hour or two, and no paperwork. You don't have to, to figure out your plot movement or uh, energy allocation. So, the Enterprise is uh, slightly damaged, has to head back to a star base. Thank you for watching. Please comment. If Star Trek is not interesting, um, let me know. If you think Star Trek is neat, um, let me know. I have a Klingon battleship that I've yet to put into action yet. And I had it made, and uh, Studio Bergstrom made this for me. So I want to put this into a game in the next week or two. So if you want to see how that works, and I'll pause the camera here. And this is the battleship. And it's got class 3 phasers. Its point value is 1,000... Uh, and 14 points in combat value. The Enterprise is worth 200. So, um, this thing is just loaded for bear. I'm sort of excited about taking this out into combat against my son. And, um... I guess that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this little Star Trek uh, video. You know, we've moved away from some historic sites this week and historical miniature wargaming and gone to um, the world of Star Trek. Thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous. Don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, and I guess that's it for now. Happy Holidays.